so we're down here at the Ava show grounds and we've got the mare down here that we trained this is the same mare from the seven habits from riding a green uh, horse video if you go back in the video log and we have got her fully trained and she's exceeding even my expectations uh, so this is Ethan's mare I trained her for him to be uh, to be a show horse Becca is showing her in the youth class for Ethan and Ethan is showing her herself and last night Ethan showed uh, in the first class on her that they've done together the mayor's first horse show Ethan's first horse show as an adult and got a perfect ride did so good we'll show some of the videos of that here in just a minute but the mayor is really adjusted to the everything that's happened on the show ground well she's calm um, so all the hard work that we've done in the last couple months on her um, has really paid off and really this is about as short of time span as what you can get a mare from partially broke because she wasn't riding outside like trails or anything when she came she was riding in a round pen basically to set up and showing uh, so for that short amount of time we've done great uh, just hoping for the best results tonight as we show back in the state classes what do you, what do you think you pretty happy I'm happy <laughs> yep. Looks good. yep, she does look really good. Her front end is reaching and stretching so much. So as you watch these classes tonight, what we're looking for is kind of rhythm, reach, and consistency uh, with the gates. So you kind of have to know what the foxtrot is. The foxtrot is basically the horse is trotting in the back and walking in the front. Now that, that front end has to be taking a huge stride to keep up with the pace of that trot in the back end and then the walk. The front end should be doing the same stride, but the, the bounce just leaves the back end. The back starts stepping instead of bounding. And then the head is, I describe it to people that don't know, it's kind of like a mall walker that's exercising in the mall. They have to twist their arms to keep up with their pace. That head is their arm twist, okay? So that's allowing them to get that extra effort and reach in that stride. So. That's what you'll be looking for. Okay, just to catch everybody up, in case you don't know, this is Pearl, and she is a five-year-old registered Missouri Foxtrotter mare. And like JR said, we're in Ava, Missouri, and this is where the headquarters of the Missouri Foxtrotter breed uh, is located. So the office is located here on the showground. And twice a year, there are two big shows for our breed that are held here. The fall show and celebration, and then we are at the spring three-year-old maturity. So our daughter Rebecca ended up showing Pearl also, and she showed her in one of the youth classes. So what you're seeing right here is Pearl's very first time in the show ring. She had never done this before, and she just did amazing. All right, young riders, Foxtrot, please. Say you beat Judge in a Foxtrot. Foxtrot? So what you saw just a second ago was Pearl doing a walk, and now she's doing the Foxtrot. And just the fact that all of this is new to her, the people, the noises, the announcers so loud, the music, just all of it is new. And she's moving out like this and concentrating and doing so well. She didn't spook one time. Uh, we were just really impressed. Third place to 179. <gasps> yeah, babe! Good job! So Pearl got third place in her very first show. I don't think any of us could be more proud. Uh, her and Becca did awesome. So Pearl only had one class in between uh, Becca showing and Ethan's showing. So she went right back into the ring and just did amazing. Uh, she was competing against some really good horses and riders. And uh, we were just really impressed once again with how she did. Pearl didn't place as high in this class, but she still did a really good job and gave Ethan a really nice ride. But if you watched uh, the Seven Habits video that JR was talking about, you'll remember how JR talked about how reactive uh, and kind of spooky this horse is. She had a lot of fear. So for her to go out there and stay so calm and work so hard, uh, I don't think we could have asked for more. The next day was Saturday, and Pearl had to spend the day getting ready for her stake class. And it's a full day's work getting a horse ready to show making sure they get exercised, warming them up, bathing them, grooming them, braiding their hair, um, making sure they're not dehydrated and they have enough to eat are just a few things um, that go into the day. 
but Pearl handled it like a pro and she was ready for the show ring by the end of the day. Before heading into the show ring, you actually have to go through a little bit of a process and go through DQP, um, which is where they inspect your horse, make sure there are no ill practices, that your horse looks sound and healthy. Once you've gone through DQP, they then uh, send you to the warm-up arena, which is basically a holding place. Um, you have to stay until you enter your class. Okay, so this is the warm-up arena. And I like to, since I'm the trainer, I like to get them working just the way I want them. So, and see how she's feeling and what her temperament is and maybe any little quirks so that I can coach them better once they start taking back over. So that's what we're gonna do now. Once JR got uh, Pearl warmed up and working correctly, then he'd hand her over to Ethan or Becca, and then they would take her around a few times. But they were very careful not to override her so she wouldn't be worn out for her classes. To help give some insight onto what these horses are being judged for, I'm going to give some of my critiques of what we did well and what we needed to improve upon during these classes. Right here, I can tell that the mare is bounding a little bit too much in her trot, meaning there's too much um, up in the air time during the trot. She needs to be a little bit more collected, and that will put more fox in her trot, is the way we would say it. Same thing here, that bounding, sometimes called a long trot, is taking a little bit of the gait out of her. Now this mare is doing it just right. This is also a good horse too. But that Palomino was really showing you what it, it's supposed to look like, in my opinion. Right here, the mare's looking pretty good. We're back down to a walk, but she's bellying her head instead of shaking straight up and down. That will take a little bit away from um, her reach. And then you've seen a consistency error there where she tried to stop and Becca kind of urged her back on. Now we're back into the Foxtrot. What I like here is her headset is pretty good right there. And um, she's leaning in to the, to the bit well, and she's looking fairly satisfied with what she's doing. Well, there was a little hop, a little inconsistency error again. And we're pretty consistent on just being a little bit too long in our trot, a little too long trotty here. So that is gonna be the key to fixing it. Later on, you'll see Ethan get um, a more collected trot, and I'll tell you, and it's right at the end. If she had done that the whole time, we very well could have won these classes. Award, 179, Legends, Copper, and Pearl. Legends, Copper, and Pearls, 179, is Ethan Right here he's going down to a walk and his nose, the horse's nose is out a little bit too much. He needs to get her collected a little bit more and make her lean into the bed as she works. See how her nose is collected here in, in the trot? Looks like a lot better overall picture. That's what we're going for all the time. She's not as long trotty as she was with Becca in this picture, but it's still not perfect yet. He's trying to find the right place to hold her in the walk there, and right about there is where, where I like her. Right as she starts to go into the corner, she really hooks up and walks well. Here's the long trot again. She's just bounding on the back end just a little bit too much. But here in the last frame, in just a second, she gets it perfect right at the end of the class. Now you can tell the ride is much smoother and her head shake is going in time and there's a lot of rhythm. That's what we'll be going for in the future. Charlie's Angel 627, 6, 7th award. 
to Legends Copper and Pearl. And that sums up Pearl's first show, and really um, Ethan's first show as an adult, and JR's uh, first show um, having a client horse go out into the ring. So a lot of firsts, and we were really proud of Pearl and Ethan and JR. Uh, they all did awesome, and the whole experience has been a lot of fun, and we've made some really good new friends. And really quick, we'd like to say thank you for the snack box that we took along to the show, and Donna sent this to us. The kids really enjoyed it, so thank you so much. Thank you. She did very well. We have gained a lot, and I know what to do to get to the next step. And if the customers come up with enough money, I will tell them. <laughs> <laughs>